Welcome back to Gas Station Simulator. This is my fuel station, and that is the volcano that keeps trying to ruin my gas station. In the last episode, it dropped hot, steamy loads all over my station. On the bright side, though, only 13 of our customers died. So let's be honest. Was it all... <laughs> In today's video, we're gonna see if we can last at least one day without a death. How hard could it be? We have some more things that we need to do today. I'm currently working on all of these challenges. As soon as I complete all of them, I can then level up my gas station and get a bunch of upgrades. One of the upgrades we got in the last episode was this new car wash where I can clean my customer's car. This car wash only cost me 500 bucks. And every time a customer drives up and I clean their car, it pays me 150 bucks. So if I can clean four cars, everything after that is pure profit. So let's go. Let's make some money today and let's do some more upgrades to the fuel station. Bro, where the hell have you been driving? Your car's dirtier than your mum is. We have a bunch of upgrades that we need to do in today's video. For example, I think we need to get some more fuel-like uh, things these things. That way, we could double our customer output. And while all of that's going on, we need to make sure the volcano isn't getting too angry with us. Eh, we'll see how it goes. Let's start spending some money. I've got a whole bunch of money in the bank account. I need a load of fuel. $2 per liter. Every time there's a little green light next to the number, that means it's a good price. So let's buy that. Let's also buy some more parts for our warehouse. Scratch removers, good price. Car wing mirrors, also a good price. I am trying to think of a funny name for the volcano, but since I am not funny at all, I am just gonna call it Taco Bell Volcano in my head. I mean, you're not wrong, bro. It definitely does give off Taco Bell vibes. I've still got a load of money, so why don't we start this episode off with a bit of an upgrade? I've already done the car wash. I can't afford the next warehouse just yet. I can upgrade our workshop, though, and the workshop's been a great way to make some money. Now, we can do oil changes on our customer's car which means we also need to order some oil. On the bright side, no customers have died so far, so that's good. Wait, what happens if I ride the boat? Like, ah! Wait, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're not good. On the bright side, the volcano is very happy at the moment, so he's not exploding. Between filling our customers up with fuel, the garage is popping off, and homies keep wanting to get their cars washed. This is going really well. Okay, why is the back of your car as bright as the sun? Ah, oh, shit. Chat, how do I make the pressure go up? Is it the garbage? Oh, wait, it is. The garbage has ruined the pressure. Look, every time I take one out, the pressure goes up a bit. We're back in action, baby. Loki wanted to dono, but it cost too much. So you did it anyway? All right, clean this guy's car up and we'll be about halfway there. How is this not good enough for you? You princess. Bro, man came to a car wash and wants a spotless car. Who the hell do you think you are? That's right. Anyways, we're looking good. The deliveries are going well. The cars are working well. We are printing money. All right, my delivery's here so we can now get people going to our surf shop and stuff again. Throw the surfboards onto the shelf. Just, just a heads up. Just watch out. If you see a shark, run away. And when I say run away, could you go a little bit further out? That way, hopefully, the other customers won't see you get eaten. Just gonna lower down our safety tolerance a little bit. What's another dead customer? If Boeing can can deal with doors being blown off of planes? I think I can deal with an occasional shark attack. Just punch the shark in the nose. Heard that work? There's no way that actually works, right? Bro, why is engine oil five bucks? We're ordering 30 things of oil. We're gonna be well oiled up after this. Add all of these. Beautiful. Let's just lower our tolerance here a little bit too so they last a little longer. No one's gonna die. Probably. Oh my god, bro. I've got a thousand bucks again already. Wait, 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 wait. Can I hire another employee? <gasps> I can. This person is level three fueling. Oh my god. This person is level three everything though. And they're barely more expensive. I, I, yep, welcome. I've now got employees doing like everything. I only need to work really hard hard in the night when it's just me and this guy named Andrew. Wait, king of the- Oh my god! Whoa, 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 what are you? Right, I'm gonna go get him. Come here, shark. You think you're tough, bud? Where'd he go? 
Okay, he got someone. Give me a thing of garbage. The garbage will be my weapon. Look, I'm gonna feed him garbage, and then he's gonna catch pollution. That didn't work. I legit tried to feed myself to the shark to see if hitting him on the nose would work, but we couldn't even try it. Well, boys, as it turns out, sharks are more scared of you than you are of them. Something, something. The volcano is somewhat angry. Okay, yeah, chat, you are right. We do need to watch the volcano to make sure it doesn't explode. Ricardo should be the sacrifice. I'm not sacrificing employees. Sacrifice oil? I don't think I can pour oil into a volcano. Maybe if it was like Saudi Arabia, then maybe I could get away with that. Try giving the volcano maple syrup. Maybe he's Canadian. Chat, that's such a terrible idea. It might actually work. I like it. Somebody in chat says, Nick, even better idea, sacrifice Nathan. Bro, if I wanted the volcano to blow up right away, I would put Nathan in it. Because let's be honest, even the volcano would want to get Nathan out as quickly as possible. Where, where's the sacrifice thing? Here it is. Ten beers. Beer works. How about car wash? This is so not worth it. This is so expensive. Hey, bro, you want 27 volleys? Such a waste of money. Next time we're making this stupid volcano erupt, it's not worth it to try to get him to not explode. Let's get back to our upgrade. I'll upgrade my toilet for right now. That doubles our toilet capacity. I can get a second jet ski dispenser. Perfect. Smash. Bye. Now, when we come down here, we have two areas where boats can come and fill up. Look at our new clean toilet. Ah, so many many people are going to be taking poos here. This is amazing. All right, back to clean. Jesus Christ. Why is it so bright? Here's the thing. I think I actually have a massive brain play for this game. We just need to wait for the volcano to get a little bit more angry. And I'll show you. What if we gave the volcano some AR-12 merch? Maybe that would work. You know, maybe that would make him a little bit more happy. Maybe I give him a nice skill issue hoodie. Everyone loves a skill issue hoodie. The worst part of this is actually cleaning customers' cars. I think as soon as we possibly can get like an automatic car washer. Sure, there's no cost to it and it's like it's pure profit, but it's mad annoying to clean these guys' cars. Bye, have a nice time. Chat, you are right. If we just drove the customers' cars into the ocean, that would in theory clean them a lot quicker. Wait, chat... Actually, you bring up a good point. What if we push one of our customers' cars into the ocean? Let's find out. Come here. Into the ocean. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. We're looking good. No, we're not looking. That was a, that was a sick flip, but not what I'm going for. Go that way. Yes. 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 Wait, their car... <laughs> the cars still work under the water. Wait, are they... Oh, no. <laughs> That sounds like someone else's problem. That's not good. Hey, stop it. If I don't give him permission to explode, he can't explode. Okay, uh, the screen is shaking quite badly now. Could you chill up there? Wait, he went down. Nice. He chilled. Wait, 97? Wait, he's actually going down. Wait, I just... If I just lost all of that work, I'm going to lose my mind. Homie just exploded so hard, he crashed the game. We're on day eight now. Wait, maybe it had something to do with me drowning my customer. Interesting thing to think about. <laughs> What? Another customer died? Okay, I'm starting to think this is a customer problem, not a scuba issue. Not my fault they couldn't swim. It's also not my fault that the scuba mask failed and imploded. I had them sign 13 death waivers. What more do you want from me? Anyways, we need five more boats to refuel and one more car to wash and we'll be all good to level up again. All right, let's go clean this customer's car and he's our last one we're doing. Also, bad news, or well, good news, the volcano is going to explode again. Good news because I I want to test my science experiment. Bad news because the game might break. I wonder if homie's gonna edge himself again. He seemed to enjoy that a lot in the last episode. I need to refuel one more boat. I'm gonna be racing the volcano to see if the volcano explodes first or if I can upgrade first. I need a customer. Get in here, Lewis. Final customer. Yes. We're joking, right? I gave that guy no fuel. Wait, not enough money to pay for the upgrade and additional quest progress? Wait, it didn't even count because I shorted the guy fuel. Last one, come on, don't bottle this one. Nice, 
task is completed. I'm gonna beat the volcano. Gas station level five. Let's go. Massive upgrade to the fuel station. We can now have two fuel pumps, which is huge. The volcano is happy. This is what I'm talking about. And you know what I'm gonna do? I need 600 bucks and I'm gonna hire another employee right away. It's another big investment, but I think it is an investment worth making. George, you're on the team, bud. Level five on everything, stong. Okay, so I'm just gonna go pollute because I want the uh, volcano to explode. Here he goes, wait. <laughs> Wait, we've got a volcano going off and we've got a shark in the ocean. This is not gone to plan one bit. Oh my God, it's actually making a... Someone's... Stop screaming. We're fine. It's all good. Yes, the volcano exploded and got very angry. But in the last episode, I found a very interesting button in the game. The button, as it turns out, can spawn in... You did there was, uh, it's just a large fish. Anyways, as I was saying, in the last episode, I found a very interesting button. This button does something very interesting. You know, in the base game, when you reset all the cars and customers, on this, it hits your fuel station with a tsunami and it wipes all of your customers away. Goodbye, police officer. I think it also does a little bit of cleaning up after the volcano. So hitting your own fuel station with a volcano is actually a big brain play. Not only are we making money, but we're also figuring out unethical life hacks. How many customers died? Only nine. That's, that's better than 10. As I said before, it's a valiant sacrifice that they are willing to make. We are looking good, baby.